okay so why am i recording a ring off the phone so obviously i need to read all my notes right obviously without my notes i'll be disorganized and this is this is gonna be a very long thing in this video and if i'm not organized or prepared then obviously this video will go to like three or four hours long i, I honestly do not want people to watch you know hearing this person you know talking to himself to a camera talking you know three or four hours straight it gets boring it's lagging stuff so by being organized and if you know it's gonna be a very long talk i suggest you highly type it up in the word document you know type an essay you just read every single word off of it you know without thinking and you know um doing this and that that causes more time and dragging behind i know that i'm doing a lot lately i know that i'm not good you know when it comes to talking so if i jot it all down it'll be all cool we save time and nobody's gonna get hurt and no i mean nobody's gonna waste time nobody's gonna hear you know like this and that that way you know, i don't repeat myself right yeah i'm serious man when i type this long essay it's freaking nine pages long and and also you see the title of the video i don't need to talk about it and it's serious and this is why it's gone to nearly down a 5,000 page essay believe it or not right I'm autistic, I don't write well, but I can write nearly 5,000, I put 5,000 words in it. And I know somebody can do like 10,000 words or even more, so... I got something very serious to say and... And this cannot go on like this, right? Okay, so sorry I wasted your two minutes there, but you're just wondering like, why do this, why do that? You can tell I just look at my phone, just, you know, look at my, you know, eyeball, it's just, you know, comments. You just, you know, use your, you know, um, analysis and also use your, you know, um, hypothesis, right? Just use your, you know, thing, you know, you're, none of you guys watch a video, none of you are, are stupid or dumb, okay? It, it just ain't up with it, man. I just want to get over with it, we all want to get over with it, get over with this, you know, presentation or whatever that is. I just want to talk quick because... I spent a whole goddamn day writing this, you know, letter. This serious letter. I didn't do it for fun, I do it for my own sake. And for you, you know, who care about me. Right? I know there's a lot of people who love and care about me. And if they wanna, and if they're curious about, you know, what's happening in my life, maybe they should watch this video. Maybe they should watch my YouTube channel. Yeah, go ahead, share it to everybody. Just go ahead. I don't care, right? And that's better too, because now you get to learn, you know, what the hell is going on with my life. And why I haven't been uploading lately, right? Why I've been so lacking behind, so... You, you figure out all in this video, right? Okay, so, hi guys. The purpose of me recording this is to inform you that I need help. And be sure to watch the entire video if you truly want to help me or interest on, you know, what happened to me because I got lots of important things to say. Okay, I try to talk fast so that way this video stays short. So, lately I've been getting very angry so easily due to high amounts of your know, stress level. And why I get angry so easily? Obviously, it is a very long story and I cannot solve it this by myself. This has been, you know, happening for so many years. If I talk too fast, just, you know, slow down stuff. You have the option on your YouTube thing. YouTube put option for a reason, so... Okay, and let me continue reading. Sorry there. I've been trying to stop my issue and it never goes away. I realize that if I do not get help, my life situation will only get worse. And I face so many severe consequences in life due to my, my failure of controlling my behavioral issue. The longer this drags out, it's only going to get worse. My mom cares and loves me a lot, often had bad suggestions in me. She even tried to help me resolve this issue and it still failed. And this is why seeking the professional help has to be the only option, hoping I get better from here on. I refuse to go seek help at first because it, I know it just wastes time and money but I realized that getting help actually and most likely saved me from you know, lots of trouble, a lot more trouble than I think. I actually lost more money due to speed and due to stupidity than you know, refusing to pay money to the therapist. So I try to be wise realizing wasting a few hundred bucks would actually save you thousands of dollars and avoid facing severe consequences that can possibly permanently you know, ruin your life forever. I know I have to give it a try even though it guarantees it won't work 100%. Common sense, when you don't feel, when you don't give up, you will eventually solve the issue or if you still fail, resolve the issue, at least you know you gave it everything you, you got to stop this problem. 
you ask why I get provoked so often lately. I keep getting you obsessed with my issue talking all the time new bins in the old bins. In the past I constantly spend time ranting exposing myself being the old bins or you know, things I know I should not be doing by you know, using common sense. Old Vince is the bad guy and then new Vince is the good guy. Every time I do something wrong or or something not right, I always blame myself, you know, as you know, stopping the old Vince. I keep exposing myself and keep self criticizing myself, wanting me to stop you know the old Vince, hoping my issue go away. I do this almost every day on a daily basis and this issue will not go away. Won't go away. What is wrong being the old Vince? I failed to change my bad habit and this really bothers me so much especially when someone reminds me about it. Ovens refuse to learn and to his mistake. Yes, I know mistake oftenly happen. I get very annoyed when I keep repeating the same mistake and I use common sense that shows me proof that I have to stop making this mistake. This is why this is when your criticizing starts kicking in when failed to not change from making the same mistake again and again and again. It's been dragging on for so many years. When my anger gets out of control, this is when I start doing self-destructive behavior. This is my biggest concern about behavior. Honestly, self-destructive behavior is not helping me or anyone at all. I do self-destructive be destructive behavior, trying you know, to discipline myself to never ever do this bad behavior ever again. I know people need to be forced to be disciplined so they do not repeat the same mistake again and again. However, how is my behavior self-destructed and I try to list as many as I can so you can define other unknown issue I wasn't aware of or I do not know what it is. Okay, like I said, always self-criticizing myself, forcing people to dislike and hate me, even wanting and telling my family to kick me out of the house or cut me off from the family for being so deviant, forcing myself to lose weight, beating myself up, over exercise just to lose your freaking weight and obsess you know, being my record to prove that I stopped being the old Vince, overworking my body and get severely injured this year and destroying my personal belonging to stop a certain habit and totally you know, isolating myself seeing families and friends and other people. I've been losing friends because of this issue sometimes. Good thing no family member has hated or disliked me yet. By the way, as you can see, you notice that I lost quite a bit of weight just, just you know, because of my self-destructive behavior. As you can see, you know, me recording this video, you can tell that my face is getting skinnier, so I feel very separate and lonely due to lack of friends around me. I have friends and best friends, but I hardly talk to them due to social issue and their, you know, lifestyle. This could be part of a cause of me making your know, poor decisions out there. I see people with lack of social skills tends to your know, struggle in life. This is what's been happening to me. I have to say this again because some of you are new viewer seeing me for the first time or recently. I am diagnosed with autism. Autistic people or you know, having a disability in life always feel struggling on a daily basis. People with disability tends to have to pull extra weight on their back all the time just to do a simple task comparing you know, with you know, other people who are normal not struggling to do the same difficult task as the people with you know, disability. I know people often with disability not only struggle in life have a very high chance of being bullied, disliked, and hate due to your know, deviant behavior or unusual you know, behavior. I experienced this many times. I know that 25 living in this world, everyone is different. There will always be bad and good people or many different people with you know different personality. Anyway, I want to let you know that I am a very sensitive person and taking things very personally. Taking things too personally without being open-minded can be a serious problem. I really want to warn everyone about this. I really wanted my life to be peaceful and please do not aggravate me anymore. I noticed that my generation of young people tend to be very impatient and have outwards problem just for you to be aware of. Older people tend to be calmer than the young one as typical. Now I know why in the past I always get myself in trouble when I get angry. When you get 
when you are so angry, you no longer think about the consequences in life and you will make very bad impulsive decisions that can permanently make you regret for the rest of your life. Please do not quote me. I am not an expert, but I just came up with a suggestion that I can think of. And hopefully it may be helpful for some of you. To stay out of trouble, try to stay away from conflict. Conflict is the one that will guarantee getting you into major trouble. If you do not get along with this person or you hate this person, I suggest you really need to stay away from them. That's why I find that isolating myself from people will help me to be a bad person, especially you know, from family. That's why I find myself that isolating myself from people will help me be a bad person, especially from family. I realize isolating myself from family, friends, and strangers can be harmful because it causes stress. Every time you want to avoid someone, it makes you stress due to the fact that you have to remember in your head all the time and it does not make you feel happy. I have experienced this in my I have experienced this in my family. This is true and I want you and I wanted you to share quickly about how conflict can actually separate you from anyone, even your family, that can be separated. This is how serious a conflict is. So for example, on my dad's side, his brothers and sisters his brothers and sister no longer get along with each other be just because of a, you know, a conflict, complicated you know, conflict that I do not need to explain to, to you guys for privacy reasons. Sorry I have to shout because of the you know, noise in the background. They avoid seeing each other because of a conflict or fighting argument. Even people you love in your family cannot get along with you because of your of issue and not you know, forgiving each other. On my mom's side, also have issue but less compared to my dad's side. My uncle on my mom's side, for example, my mom's, you know, brother, you know, left the family for whatever reason due you know, to, you know, conflict, right? And, and also, you know, I also do not get along with my older sister, so... See, because of a conflict right now between me and my sister, right? And I do not want to talk about this in video, same thing, right? That's a... That's one thing that I didn't write down, but I almost forgot to mention about it. So, even your your close sibling, even your closest your know, family, you still don't get along, and it, and it can happen. And I know it's super sad. To increase happiness, it's best to try to forgive this person if they make whether small or big mistake. It is important to forgive someone and give them another chance to become better. We are not perfect, and we make mistakes. I hope for those who love their loved one, hopefully you do not get into a serious argument where you have to cut off your friend, your family, or etc. Reason why we make mistakes is to learn from them and do not do it again. If you make no mistake in life, then you're not learning. Some smart people see smart people see it this way, making mistakes or progress, you're helping you to go rather than you're destroying you. I know that some people get really upset that they will not give forgiveness second chance are usually available for you because God knows and we know you're not perfect. It does not matter who you are, mistake and bad days gonna happen whether you like it or not and you do not even have control over most of them. I have a suggestion for you. You do not like me, stay away from me. It's that simple. If you have no other ways of liking each other, just go away and stay away so no one gets hurt at the end of the day. Look man, you have tons of bad things to do in life and stop forcing, you know, trying to annoy me or anything. Do not try and make me mad for stupid reason or to benefit your sake. I will go crazy and I will, and I do not want to start any trouble or war. Hate and disliking others for stupid reason should not be anyone's hobby or part of their habits. It wastes time and energy and distraction. I know so many best strangers out there piss me off and I want to beat them up and kill them. I do not think any of this helps anyone. When conflict be between two or more people get worse, it can be very dangerous and it will ruin lots of life as I can see it. Beating up and injuring someone will not solve any problem. How many times I have to say this to myself, like I told myself numerous times, when I'm angry, none of this thinking will help me and I will ignore it all the negative consequences result. At the same time, destroying things will not help you resolve your issue, just like you beating up someone. What? What? 
happening when things get wet or damaged due to anger issue, it costs money, and etc. You beat or kill someone will only, you beat up or kill someone will only causes more, much more problem and even worse, since the issue than you originally deal, than before. Here is the possibility of what happened if you really physically harm that person you really hate or even kill him or her. Look here. That person who goes through suffering, his or her family's peers, friends will get really worried and will start to turn against you. More people will get involved trying to stop this issue and a lot more people get angry. You know, conflict will get far worse than it needs to be. War will be really huge and it could be impossible to stop it since so many people get involved you know, with the conflict. When war or the biggest fight happen between two or more people, nothing will get solved. Having argument is okay if two or more people disagree with each other but do it peacefully. Being violent to each other does not do anything but do only harm. When two or more people get into fight, no one benefit. No one will win at the end of the day but face losses. The more people get into conflict, the bigger the conflict, the bigger conflict, the bigger the fight. Sorry, there's a big pause video because you know, just, you know, disturbing distraction, but this is why I want to talk fast so that way, you know, I don't want to disturb it and I don't have to re-edit this video. So, let me start off, you know, where I resume. So I resume back again, you know, because I just want to upload soon and I just want to get over with. Whatever, man. Nothing's perfect. So, I'm sorry about this, man. I have to repeat this again. No one will win at the end of the day, but face losses. The more people get into conflict, the bigger conflict, the bigger the fight gets, and more people will get harmed. Bigger fight will be much harder to stop since so many people. I hate fighting in conflict, which is. And why is that? It just wastes time and energy. This is absolute immaturity. Fighting in general is just like kitty stuff. We act like a bunch of fire zone, love the tantrum, and adults do this. is pretty embarrassing. Even more, sometimes it takes time to recover yourself from you know the stupid fight that can be prevented, that can be there, or your life is permanently changed in a negative way that you will never be able to recover, and it is stuck with you for the rest of your life. Over you know a stupid damn fight. People lost life over stupid fights, and one or more people life, and one or more people life gone forever due to stupidity, which causes more other people's life to be so depressed because it could be the lost one. Depending on you know, the relationship. Once you've done the damage, most of them are irreversible. And when things are irreversible, it is too late to change it. Once you've done it, you've done it. So move on. Stop forsake think about Stop forsake thinking about the freaking past. And that's my issue. Past can never change. You can never you can change the future, however. History cannot be changed, but you can learn from it and try not to do it again. Let me explain in detail what happened. Yesterday and my past. In detail what happened to me yesterday and my past. Yesterday I got really pissed off at myself again for whatever reason. I decided to smash my iPad and I totally wrecked and smashed my iPad and stopped myself completely from playing video game that causes you know distraction. Why video games is bad to me and it is very addictive. Totally distract me from you know my future goals such as running, education, you know, building up my career and your know, fine job, etc. I got criticized many times of not playing too much video games for you know, wasting so many damn hours. I blame this for possible cost of me you know, not getting a job and delayed me of doing my other goals, useful goals in life that I wanted to do. I even lost money over that stupid game, spending and wasting time on useless thing that never helps you and eats up all your money caused me to decide to smash my iPad completely helped me to stop playing video games. Good legit reason to hate video games. It's just a waste of time and if it gets deleted for some reason, all that hard work's down the drain and it cannot recover it. Waste energy and time for nothing. I know my life is so limited and so short. That's why I hate squandering my time. I could have done something much more happier towards my goal instead of wasting time, ex the extra precious energy on your stupid nonsense stuff. Maybe the, ex the extra energy could have got me over the hump and I would have made more confidence causing me to feel more relief from my stress. I tend to be overreactive. I should take things less personally and be more open minded when and be more open why people say this, why people act this way towards me and think for myself.
if something is not right talk to someone or get help or try to find a truly trusted doll if nothing of if none of this work highly suggest you need a therapy now trust me wasting a few hundred bucks for a therapy will probably save you you know many years of severe trouble i feel that these people including me have a hard time distinguishing the difference between opinions of others and the real truth the, the truth is 100 percent opinion is something you cannot measure or it can be you know, unrealistically unre ridiculous there are always haters in life or ungrateful people ungrateful people i take it so personally thinking your opinion from other people is actually facts and this is always confuses me whatever idiot whenever idiot disrespect me i tend to get pissed off and try even hard to prove them that they are retarded this is how it led to my worst injury this year worst injury ever experienced i run so hard in running that i wanted to show idiots out there to prove that I am the toughest guy and no one will mess with me. I purposely do that to show people I'm trying hard and not being a damn lazy person. I try being crazy, go over my limit and injure my leg, doing your crazy unrealistic things that I cannot handle. I want to act very tough and I want people to be afraid of me and not to be an easy target. Well, I know that if you're trying to act like a tough guy, people do get so afraid. You know this backfires. I explained this before and I overheard this that that this, you know, acting tough for no legit reason can be backfiring. Fake tough guy or being so cocky, whatever, just stop it. I understand that you hate being an easy target, so you need to act cocky or tough to scare off people. Here's common reason to act cocky. One, first of all, to hide your lack of confidence, hide your insecurity. Sometimes you do not act cocky just as long as you have something to back up why you made this amount of accomplishment and I will talk about this in a minute. Okay, for example, I ran a sub five minute mile and this is not for real, oh, just your makeup example. An idiot say that I am a slow runner. I yell and shout him saying that I ran a sub 5 minute mile of pussy, I tell the idiot saying that your speed is nowhere near that. And did I actually went a mile under 5 minutes? Yes I did. There's my backup evidence. I accomplished it in year 2020, 100% facts. Now that is, now that is not cocky. I show aggressive behavior to the idiot but not exaggerating my goals. I accomplished. However, if I say a sub 5 minute mile, I was just exaggerating my ability just to lie to people to gain respect then to me it is cocky and I'm just being stupid saying saying you know this person will expose me finding out that I didn't actually do it being not humble makes you an easier target and more people will pick on you once you get embarrassed or exposed people can see unrealistic standard go on you on you for them to respect you if you cannot do it then do not feel bad about yourself Trust me, this can happen within your family. So usually the people who have the loudest mouth tends to be a fake tough guy. And they are usually shy or just saying it but do not do anything. Fake tough guy warns you ahead of time telling you he will kick you or beat you up or do whatever you know, to hurt you. He is here is a tough guy and how to be one. The toughest guy tends to be very patient, very calm, do not get in trouble easily, the quietest dude, and they are wiser. The toughest guy is humble. The tough guy will never warns you about any danger going towards you. This is what makes the tough guy extremely dangerous. They are unpredictable. That's what always scares you. Even if a tough guy is forced to show off his skill in front of people to shut up the haters, Usually they either ignore them or they do show some effort but not using absolutely 100% making the people look like an, an idiot. I will explain this even though it sounds confusing. Just to set up another you know, couple examples. Let's say that this person runs a mile under 5 minutes and happened to be a tough guy. The tough guy was insulted running so slow. He decided not to show people that capable of running your know, 1 miles in less than five minutes. 
he decided to run you know quick mile he decided to finish him out in over six minute never under six minute mile and now this shows me that this person was not trying at all because of the you know, stupid hair calling him slow and this moron thinks he can't even sub a six minute mile just because he doesn't do it he doesn't show it and because the per and this person decided not to try all out you know 110 percent Haters and E's are just casual and never look deeply. Haters and E's are just casual and never look deeply. Sometimes people fail because of a bad day or this person decide not to try or both. Another example, you know, the, the world's strongest man is so disrespected being called the weakest pussy man on earth. Let's say that this man can only lift up to, you know, to 500 pounds, being a tough guy. This man does not want to use all his energy of you know, lifting weight to impress the dummies out there. He decides to lift 250 pounds or less, not going 100%. These casual things that this man can only lift, you know, up to you know, 250 pounds at max lift when he could have done more. I learned that the toughest guy never tells you everything they do. Tough guys tend to underestimate, actually underestimate their ability quite often sounds weird huh but this is true the fake tough guy tends to overestimate their ability me being a fake tough me being a fake tough guy i act like i am more than 10 times stronger than my actual real strength and this really rubs me the wrong way just you know shut up these morons or make these people feel threatened the tough ones do opposite just ignore these silly people rather than you're acting all so tough. Here is why I'm not being humble and show I have crazy amounts of confidence and, and want people to get them you know, to hate me. I compare myself to Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, and Michael Jordan saying that I will cook them in the basketball when clearly I don't know how to play basketball. I say that I run faster than... Okay, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. I repeat that again. Sorry, I just clicked on something and made it go off. I say that I run faster than you know, um, and act like I run just as fast as like Usain Bolt or Eli Kipchoge, or act so tough for no legitimate reason. I say that I, I can, I can outrun your Eli Kipchoge and your Usain Bolt, yo, and running. You know, like they're professional. You can just look them up. They, they are insanely fast. Usain Bolt and Eli Kipchoge are two different types of runner. Both goes for you know, short distance. I mean, Usain Bolt goes for short distance, and Eli Kipchoge runs you know, long distance like marathon. I even can, I even compare myself running to you know, Jakob Inzebrinksen, who recently broke the two mile you know, world record. I say I am much faster than them without your know, legitimate proof, and people already know this. And also they think this is silly and very immature, really. If you don't know how fast Usain Bolt, Jakob Inzebrinksen, or El Kipchoge runs, Usain Bolt runs 100 meters in 9.58 seconds, which is over 23 miles per hour, having a top speed of 28 miles per hour. And I act like my top speed is over 30 miles per hour, you know, running super crazy, being, you, you, being Usain Bolt in 100 meters so badly. Eli Kipchoge, who just broke a sub two hour marathon, you know, almost four years ago, running a marathon time of one hour 59 seconds, and one hour 59 minutes and 40 seconds. That is 13.1 miles per hour, about two hours, or you know, toward a sub a two hour marathon, you have to run a 434 minutes per mile pace. We all know that I have no chance of breaking a two hour marathon, let alone your know, one mile at that insane speed. If I cannot run a mile at a sub 2 hour marathon pace, then I cannot do it for a marathon. This is common sense. If you cannot handle this, then you cannot handle more. Right? Everyone know that the, the world fastest guy they can just look up, like, they know that I cannot run marathon pace. You're ridiculously, you're over 10 miles an hour. Anyway, so no way 13. My, you know, 800 meter time is just slightly faster than the 2 hour marathon speed held by Eli Kipchoge when he does this for this entire marathon back in 2019. One mile at 434 min, one mile at 434 minutes mile is really impossible for me and nightly 
and nightmarely difficult for me. 4 minutes and 34 seconds minute mile pace for 1 mile is very challenging for even elite runners. When someone does this for 26 more times to go just under a 2 hour marathon. I even said I even said I can beat Jakob Inzbrexen in middle distance, you know, running and his record. If you all know who Jakob yeah, Jakob Inzbrexen. So yet, there's no proof of me subbing a 4 minute mile. I even said that I want to sub 4 minute mile, you know, just to prove these idiots wrong. But I cannot sub a 4 minute mile right now and I'll never do because this is look ridiculously fast and it's unrealistic and this is just absolutely just making no freaking sense when I just barely sub 5 mile there's no reason to go sub 4 minute mile and I just recover from injury so this guy I mean Jakob Insebrinksen runs under a 4 minute mile pace for over 2 miles or run 2 miles complete in 754 minutes 7 minutes and 54 seconds that's averaging a 357 minute per mile pace for a 2 mile run I cannot compare myself yo to celebrity or yo very fast you know perfect fit yo elite runners right especially you know the well known one well known celebrity like Pee Dye popular YouTube Messi you know who played for soccer Michael Phelps a swimmer Bruce Lee the king of kung fu you know Elon Musk Bill Gates the richest person in the world and etc 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 okay Okay, 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 okay. All I have to say is, okay, all I have to say is stay hungry, stay humble. I get it. You need confidence in life to be successful. But no need to act so cocky even if someone is pissing you off. Here's the example when you are acting tough. Okay, okay, my, sorry, sorry about this. this let me, let me get, here is an example when you act tough or your know, random reason that make you do it and get embarrassed at the end of the day you get exposed just by being cocky so I give you an example the, the Phoenix Suns almost got eliminated to the 8th seeded you know, Pelicans in the 2022 playoff then the Dallas Mavericks completely destroyed the Phoenix Suns the 2020 Phoenix Suns in the playoff in the game 7 relation, in the game 7 you know, elimination being the Phoenix Suns by almost 50 points between 40 to 50 points the Memphis Grizzly this year in 2023 got so embarrassed by the Lakers and Grizzly talked so much crap for a team that hasn't accomplished that much in the NBA. John Moran said fine in the West. Dylan Brooks said he gets, he said no respect until you drop 40 points on him and he, and he said I poke bears and look what happened you know the idiot Memphis Grizzly. Look what happened to the Lakers in game 6 totally mastered the Grizzly by 40. Just because of Dylan Brooks asked for four, for, for you know, number forty. What an idiot! And John Moran acts so tough, you know, flashing guns and Instagram. I become like, I just want to become like John Moran, wanting to have the gun to shoot people. I just that I, the people that I hate or use gun as an excuse to protect myself due to so many bad people, you know, surrounded by me. Look, man, I do not want to buy a gun just to become a gangster or to act like John Moran. I do not want to ruin myself just because of stupid stuff like this. I know I will get into a lots of trouble flashing gun to show my anger, you know, copying, you know, John Brand. It is not okay for famous people to do your know, crime, set up your know, bad example for people who look up to him like me. I even look up, you know, to Mr. Morant. To buy a gun, you just need a highly you know, background check and people who often get angry so easily should not own a gun because it is very dangerous. Another Another example, you know, happened on YouTube back in early, you know, 2020. Shia Jacobs was talking so much shit to Jake Doherty. If you don't know who they are, Shia Jacobs, Jake Doherty, they're both, you know, famous YouTubers. And just, you know, look them up to see what the hell I'm talking about. So Shia acted like a fake tough guy. He wanted to, he wanted Jack to fight him. Clearly, the, that fake tough guy messes with the wrong guy. Shia said he would beat Jake in a fighting match and I watched a video of Jake and Shia you know and learned that cocky will tend to expose you also in a boxing match also in a boxing match Jack 
actually beat Shia in boxing, completely embarrassed him in, in fashion in your front of everyone on YouTube. Shia acts so tough, but he is so scared of Jack when he faced him in real boxing. This guy was clearly smaller, should not pick on your bigger guy's common sense. He wore the helmet the whole time, you know, boxing Jack Doherty to protect your know, impact hit you know, to his head, and Jack did not even wear a helmet. Shy, yeah, lost with a helmet in boxing, and and he even cried, which makes him seem hilarious after talking so much shit to Jack Doherty. Shy made many lame excuses of why you know, Jack beat this guy you know, unfairly. And this ain't true, and Shia Jacob just, you know, hating your know, being exposed and just make up lying about why he lost to Jack. I mean, fake tough guy think he can take advantage of tough guy when clearly he has more advantage, you know, afraid of, you know, admitting, you know, the losing, you know, trying to cheat to avoid, you know, losing, you know, embarrassingly. If Shia did not wear the helmet in your know, boxing, Jack would have ended this, you know, very quickly, probably like in less than 50 seconds or in one single punch. What I'm saying is that none of this acting is necessary. Learn other mistake as a life learning lesson. Do not mess with the wrong guy honestly. Before I end off here, so yeah man, before I end it off here, how many more times this crap needs to happen? How many more times I'm going to destroy stuff? How many more times conflicts going to happen? How many more times? How many more years is this going to happen? I am sick of this. How many more times am I going to go through this, this, you know, this, this, this. I had enough. Enough is enough, period. Seriously, I need to do something about this because this needs to stop ASAP. I cannot keep doing this. If people seriously want to help me, I got a professional therapist soon. I suggest you come up with a positive feedback that helps me to get better. If a comment say disrespectful stuff, I am automatically going to remove it. No question about it. Be careful what you say to me. I help you. I help you back. I help you back. You're know, talking about another suggestion. If you can predict or know that the topic is controversy or you know, inconsiderate to other best thing to do, not talk about it and no trouble is needed here. No one deserves trouble unless you ask for it. I know this is a perfect example of a controversial topic, politics. I highly suggest you not to talk to other peers or anyone about politics because it is extremely sucks and it is a perfect example of a controversial topic. And also, you know, stop continuing you know, to criticize other people just because you dislike them or you mad them or they disagree with you or something like that. This is controversy too. Again, the easiest way to separate yourself from others. So, this is... I'm done reading your long essay and this is like less than an hour so I gotta go now you know hopefully you know I just need to calm myself down honestly and if you have questions or you're more calm about it then I will respond to you and if there's a lot more question a lot more curiosity of what's gonna happen to me then I'm gonna make another beat about it but I don't think I should push this any further it just wastes time and stuff but it's good for me, you know, to share this, you know, to the YouTubers out there. And if I have to share it to other social media, like Facebook stuff, then I will do it. Just peace out.